This is showing you how gardens are an image of our mind. There's the divine proceeding, the thing that comes out of God, moves through these spiritual atmospheres, moves into angels, and that enlightens their minds. This creates the love and wisdom that they have. And from that, these angelic gardens spring out as a representation, as a manifestation of these inner qualities. And because of correspondence, because the physical world is a metaphysical echo or, you know, it's a reproduction through correspondence of what's in the spiritual world. We also have gardens here, except you can see there's this little bubble because there's also physical material involved, which is why angelic gardens, the way that they are, the state of the plants in there is based on the mindset, this is very hard, of the angels that are here. But physically, if, if, you, if you go out and you know, a tree that you like has died, it doesn't mean there's something in you that's dying or something like that. It means that that, that ash borer beetle got there and, and messed it up. And that, that's the difference. However, so in, in specific, we can't say, oh, uh, we know exactly what's going on in your mind because of how your garden is. There could be some parallels, but we can, because of the processes, because of the universal things that are on display there, get insight to the universal human condition from what happens in a garden. And we're going to do that right now. I mean, that's, that's what this episode is. And the first example we want to look at is that soil, we'll start with a simple one, an easy one. Our mind is like soil. This is True Christianity 350. By the way, you can click these books, download them, uh, read them for yourselves, uh, check, check the numbers on either side, see more of the context. The, it, they're free, <laughs> ebook, PDF. The human mind is like soil in which both spiritual and earthly truths can be planted like seeds and can multiply without ends. We derive this attribute from the infinity of God. He is constantly present in us with his light and warmth and his generative ability. So it's a very, very simple comparison. However, it's not just like, okay, that's the only similarity between soil and the mind. You can go go within and find a new application for this same metaphor. If you just took the, you know, in the beginning it said uh, light and heat all go into these angels. There's two great things that come out of God, right? Goodness and truth, love and wisdom, whatever you want to call them. In us, there are these two elements to who we are, our rational faculty and our will or our feelings, you know, thoughts and feelings, essentially. And if we're just zooming in on the rational faculty, our ability to be rational, it, if we look at it like a garden, in that garden, the memory would be playing the role of soil. And Swedenborg describes this a little further in Heaven and Hell 464. Our rational faculty is like a garden or flower bed like newly tilled land. Our memory is the soil, information and experiential learning are the seeds, while heaven's light and warmth make them productive. There is no germination without these latter. So there is no germination in us unless heaven's light, which is divine truth, and heaven's warmth, which is divine love, are let in. They are the only source of rationality. It's the growth of good things, the growth of ideas, the growth of feelings, things that, that move us upward spiritually, that make us into more productive, effective, loving people. This is the garden starting to grow in us. And there are infinite correspondences in there. There are infinite metaphors and comparisons that you can make, and that Swedenborg is saying this isn't just you're forcing an analogy, this is actually written into the nature of these gardens. 